Hello, this is Ed Willing, and welcome to another in-car movie review. Today I saw Annihilation with starring Natalie Portman. I thought it was a really good film. I thought it was fairly concrete. I like the visual effects. I like the, the uh, message overall. <coughs> <coughs> and but I'm, what I'm hearing is not a lot of people really understood this film and I think it's strange because I found it really pretty transparent so I'm gonna help you understand the movie before and obviously if you haven't seen it before so I thought this movie was like uh, Star Trek Three, um, of the original movie series, The Search for Spock. At the end of uh, Star Trek Two, his Spock died, saving the ship, and his body was shot onto the Genesis planet. <laughs> the Genesis planet was an experiment where they were trying to populate a dead planet, so they, they had this weapon, what I call it a weapon, that introduced new life to the dead planet. Everything started coming alive. And when I saw Annihilation, that was what I thought it was. And I was led to that conclusion from the movie trailer. It wasn't anything I picked up during the movie. It's from because they, in the movie trailer they showed the crocodile with shark's teeth and you know it was an augmentation and a mutation and mutations happen in nature and that's how we became human instead of some lesser mammal from new mutation. So you can think about it like that or you can think about it in a religious way because there was a lot of light used and it was called what is it the the spectrum and and each um person who came back was a reflection or refraction and that reminded me of the John 8 12 quote where Jesus said I am the light he who follows with me walks in the light I, it's, I don't really know the quote that was a paraphrase but if you really just you know what I mean and the thing about Genesis is this thing was trying to make the world, the world over in its interpretation of the world instead of our interpretation of the world. You know, me that as me. That's how come you had a horse, bear, and crocodile shark and different things with plants and stuff. And another theme in the movie was annihilation. Humankind uh, always tends to want to annihilate itself or just do it some harm unconsciously or subconsciously or consciously. Like everyone does itself, everyone does themselves harm and doesn't have to be physically cutting your arm or taking drugs. It could also be we we always do these things like um drink too much at the boss's party and spout off how about how bad it is to work there or it doesn't even have to be work. We speed give ourselves um opportunity to get a ticket which benefits us negatively. 
All these things are us trying to destroy ourselves on some level because we're human <laughs> and we basically have a predilection of self-destructing. We're, we're pre-programmed to self-destruct. So if you go in to that with that um, thought in your mind as you watch the movie, you don't have a much easier time just figuring out what this movie was about. I thought it was good. I thought it was pretty straightforward. I didn't have any problem understanding the symbolism or the imagery or any of that. We just, you know, the whole reason why things work out is... We have someone to come home to at the end of the day because love is the only thing that matters. And that, that also has to do with the movie. So, if we want to say, I think you should see it, I think you should really try to pay attention to it and not all the pretty lights of what the movie is saying because I believe it's saying that love is the answer and you have to have something to hold on to to keep you from self-destructing and to make you happy at the end of the day. Because life is very lonely without that love. And with that, I'm going to leave you. <laughs> so if you like this video, like, subscribe, hit my bell. Uh, visit my links in the dialogue box below and have a good day. I will see you. I will see you at the movies.